Kayari was founded in 2003 to process a product that local people harvested but didn't fully benefit from. The cacao farmers were poorly educated and easy to exploit. Not anymore. Now receiving a better price for a crop that goes into making a high quality chocolate containing up to 85% cacao which is sold around the world. Gonzalo Tanguila, one of more than 800 members of the Farmers Association here, has been producing cacao for 20 years. Speaking to us through a translator in his native Quechua, he said getting a fair price for his harvest allows him to invest in his plantation and in his family. The cooperative ensures youngsters are trained in administration, finance and technology, giving them an incentive not to desert the jungle for the cities, to stay and help keep their language and culture alive. Nati Kayapa is the Cacao Growers Association's first female president. When we founded Kayari, we weren't very well organized and the buyers took advantage of us. They paid us very little, which the Quechua community thought was normal. When we saw that representatives in Guayaquil were selling at very high prices, we realized we were in a fight for the survival of indigenous people, that we have our rights and that our economic status is important. Ingredients for the many flavors that go into the chocolate bars, such as vanilla, banana, ginger, orange and cinnamon, are cultivated alongside the cacao to create a rich mix of nutrients that feed the delicate jungle soil. It's making inroads into the quality end of the world chocolate market, but it's very much a product of the Ecuadorian jungle, cultivated by the indigenous community that knows it best, which is ensuring that it benefits from the sweet taste of success. Kayari is run by and mostly represents Quechua-speaking indigenous people. Maintaining quality at every stage of the process is vital to thrive in a competitive market. Now we'll determine the percentage of fermentation, the percentage of mold and the percentage of semi-fermentation, all of which determines the quality before it's exported. Exported to delight the palates of chocolate connoisseurs around the world. But farmers here now have control of the bitter cacao bean that makes that chocolate, and with it, their own destinies. Daniel Schweimler, Al Jazeera, Dena, Eastern Ecuador.